Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and I am back with another Inspired Saturdays video. Today I am teaming up with my best friend Danny, and we are going to be inspired by each other. I hope that you'll stick around, see how she inspired me, and then find out how you can go see how I inspired her. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I am super excited to be back today with another Inspired Saturdays collaboration. This is an extra special one for me, but I'll tell you why in just a minute. Let me now tell you what Inspired Saturdays is. It is a collaboration that I host here on YouTube where just about every Saturday I team up with another crafty YouTuber and we create new projects based upon something the other crafty YouTuber has created. Today I am teaming up with my good friend Danny. I know that you're going to recognize her name if you've been around very long. She's on my sheet load of cards team and about every month we try to do a four on Friday collaboration. Not only is she an awesome crafter, she is also a great personal friend. I actually do know her in real life and our day jobs happen to be at the same place. So I hope that once you watch my video here, you'll go over and see what Danny has created that was inspired by me. Make sure to leave her love, leave her a thumbs up and hey, go ahead and click on that subscribe button too. One of the things that I really have fun with for Inspired Saturdays is the fact that whatever we're using as inspiration is a complete surprise to the other one. So Danny doesn't know what I chose to be inspired by and I don't know what she chose either. I was going to try to step out of my comfort zone and get out like a detailed image and color it in beautifully because Danny excels at beautiful colored images. I can do cutesy little things okay, but her creations are just gorgeous. I do have her blog and Instagram account also linked below, so I hope that you'll go there and just look at the beautiful art that she creates. I did decide not to use one of her beautiful colored creations. I just thought that I would put more pressure on myself and probably not end up liking it. So I went with one that as soon as I saw it, I knew that that was the card that I had to take inspiration from. And up on screen now is the card from Danny's Instagram account. This will be linked in the description box below, a direct link to this card. And I just fell in love with just that big bold sentiment in the middle, the gorgeous background, and vellum. Yes, you know that I love some vellum. So this card just screamed out to me, take inspiration from me and guess what that's what I'm gonna do here today in front of me are most of the supplies that I will be using if I add anything as I start the process I will be sure to let you know if I leave you with any questions though make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can for my sentiment today I have not used this yet but as soon as I saw it I had to buy it like I think the sentiment just gave me chills it says when you can't look on the bright side I will sit with you in the dark seriously chills like what a good friend you have to be to just be there for somebody and be quiet and just support them love this sentiment and then the little chair that goes with it so I'm gonna be using that today this is from Miss Ink Stamps I'll see if it's still available and link it up below if I can you might have noticed on that original card that the sentiment was stamped on like a die cut and I chose label 16 from Spellbinders. I bought this back when I had to have every single nestability set there was. And I will be using the second from the largest for today. For my pattern paper today, I'm going to be using some paper that I was sent by subscribers. I have received a few cards using this gorgeous pattern paper from Stampin' Up! And when they knew that I loved it so much, they sent me some of theirs. So thank you to Sandy and Karen for that. I'm so glad to be using this on the card today. 
I do have a scrap of vellum in the back that I'll be using. And then for one of my inks, I will be using the Gina K Designs Blue Lagoon. I will also be using another ink for my sentiment, but I'm just not sure yet what I'm going to use. So stick around and find out. Let's get crafty. To start my card today, I quickly got out my trimmer and I cut my pattern papers. The blue piece was already four and a quarter by five and a half, so I left that as is, and the pattern paper piece got cut to four inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. The vellum I cut down so it was a three and three quarter inch square. Then I got out my cuddle bug so I could cut that label 16 die from a scrap of white cardstock. Now it was time for the stamping. I did pull out my Misty, but I could not get the die cut to sit nicely in the lower right without moving around. So I added just a little bit of adhesive to the back of that, and then I tacked it in place on the mouse pad of my Misty. The first stamp that I'm gonna use from the set is the little chair. I place this in the lower right hand corner of the die cut and once I have that in a place I like it, I pick it up with the door of my Misty and stamp it in that Gina K ink. Next I'm going to stamp the sentiment. This will overlap the chair just a little bit, but I do place it to the upper left hand corner to avoid too much overlap so it's still easy to read. Once I have that in place, I prep my surface with my embossing buddy. That way when I pour that silver embossing powder over the top of it, it's only going to stick to where I stamp the sentiment. That embossing buddy is worth its weight in gold. Once the powder is on there and I've tapped off the excess, I bring in my heat tool and set that powder. And now it's time to start putting the card together. I add both of my pattern papers to the front center of the card base, and then I put a little X of adhesive in the middle of my vellum piece. That is going to be hidden by my die cut later. Because the card is pretty flat right now, I did bring in my big blue roll of foam tape in the 3 quarter inch width, and I added a couple pieces of that to the back of my label die cut. Once I pull the release paper, this just gets centered in the middle of the vellum area. This was when I noticed I had some black spots in the lower left of the die cut. We'll fix that in a little bit. For now, let's get some bling added to this card. On Danny's original card, she used a pearl in each of the four corners, and I decided that I would use these clear gems. I love kind of the holographic color they have to these. I thought it brought out the blue in the paper very nicely. Now let's take care of those black dots in the lower left. I think what I did is when I turned it over to put adhesive on the back of my die cut piece, I think it picked up some old embossing powder from my desktop. So to get rid of this, I got out my mono sand eraser and just gently erased the imperfections away. Here is a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this quick and easy encouragement card today inspired by my friend Danny. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go visit Danny's video and see how I inspired her. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.